What's up YouTube? This is Recoil Rider coming back at you. I got a uh, review on this Harley Davidson Outrush R modular helmet. It has the Cena Bluetooth built-in hands-free device so you can talk using the microphone setting. I have a chin mount GoPro set up on this thing right now. It's a GoPro 11. But I am not going to be reviewing this. This is uh, just a review on the helmet itself, but I just wanted to show you how I have my camera set up on my helmet. I got the mount here. It's strap mount, four point strap mount on the chin. This does not come with a helmet, obviously. Uh, modular meaning that it flips up. Here's my mic that comes down from my camera. I just electrical taped it right onto the mic that comes with the helmet so you can talk. I love uh, the fact of this easy lever right here. Flips the visor down so you can ride in sunny conditions or nighttime conditions or low visibility conditions. I've had this helmet for over a year now, so it's got a few bug marks. It killed a few bugs going down the road with it. It uh, weighs just under four pounds, uh, probably more than that now. I got the GoPro, but three pounds, three pounds, 13 ounces is what it weighs. It has three vents on it, one being blocked by the GoPro now. But there's the first vent you can flip open and close. Here's the second vent up here. You can also flip this open and close. And then the third vent being in the rear, which is not optional. This stays open at all the time. You can't close, open and close these. Um, it does have a removable liner that you can actually stick in the wash. These just snap off. You can take them off. Snap them back on. Wash them, put them back on, you're good to go. Does meet DOT standard and is RF certified. I bought this online and the price still has not changed. And you can get this from the Harley Davidson store for $325. It has not gone down, even though they've made an updated version of this. Uh, of course, it says. Harley Davidson on the side. You can buy this helmet cheaper as the modular R version without the Harley and it will be a little bit cheaper. I want the Harley symbol. Uh, another thing I really like about this and most helmets come with this anymore is the ratchet strap. It's You set it, you click it, and you're done. So this is uh, how to open up the helmet, this little lever, flip that open. The way I got this mount, these straps, it just clears, the straps just go on each side of that so it doesn't block it from opening. Let me go ahead and put this on for you. Slips on. Click, nice and easy. Now I can open it up, get some visibility, I'm a smoker, I can sit there and smoke a cigarette, or if you're a vapor, you can have a lanyard and a vape, and take a vape as you're going down the road, if that's your thing. And again, your eye visor, also protecting your eyes if you want to have this flipped up and it's sunny conditions out. I really like this helmet. The fit, is, to me, fits perfect. Now you want to check your size guide on the website to make sure that the fit is right for you if you're ordering online. Or if you can go to a store and actually try some helmets on and see what kind of their fit is. But I suggest just using the size guide on the website. So that's the helmet itself. I've discussed a lot of things about this helmet. 
let me uh, talk about this Cena Bluetooth. The, the helmet itself is really, really nice. The Cena Bluetooth is okay. If anything, I would say that's the con. It is a built-in Bluetooth setting. You can Bluetooth it to your phone, which is what I do. There are some flaws with it. Um, I found that answering the phone was hard. Connecting to my phone uh, verbally by using the command uh, for my phone to pick up, to turn automatically turn on and recognize. It was also not great. So, I got my phone up on a phone mount on my motorcycle handlebars, and I found the best way to get this thing to work and communicate is actually by hitting the phone. So if you get a call, it's easier, and you're already Bluetooth to your phone, it's easier just to hit the answer button on your phone than it is to hit on this, on this headset. Uh, the volume buttons, they work fine. There ain't no problems there. This is the number one downfall I found is that if you're Bluetooth to your phone, the easiest thing is to use your phone. Uh, so making a call would be a lot harder. Uh, I have an Android phone. Maybe it works easier for Apple. I don't know. Let me know if you guys have that same problem or if it, there's a solution to it. You can uh, plug this in and get updates for the, the Cena Bluetooth but it just doesn't seem to want to download the update so you're pretty much stuck with what it is. Cena is really good on the communication Bluetooth helmet intercoms but on this one I just think that you're off the ball a little bit. So this is my review on this uh, helmet and this is what the setup looks like. I ran this cord through the visor for instead of underneath it. I just feel like it opens up easier and it snags less. It's less apt to snag if it's going through there. It doesn't bother me and most of the time when I ride. As you can see, it has different click points. One, two, three. I usually ride with it one click up. Get some ventilation in there. I like feeling that air. Uh, I don't have to worry about the visor fogging up on a really hot day as long as it got constant airflow. Um, so yeah, this uh, this is the uh, Harley Davidson Outrush R modular helmet. For the helmet itself, I would strongly suggest. For me, it was great. I would suggest buying one. It, it really fits and feels nice. It's not too heavy of a helmet, but you can feel. The weight it does have feels pretty durable. So, if you guys like this content, I'm going to bring more out to you. Like, share, and subscribe. Tell me what you think. If you have one, or if you're thinking about getting one, or if you have any other questions, just uh, leave a comment in the section below. Thanks for watching.